My dear friends, right now we are in transmission line protection using our current and earth fault relays. We have started with a simple primitive radial network which is used at 66 and 11 kV level. Radial feeder means source is on one side and load is on the other side. There may be any number of buses, but source is only fed from one bus. And from the last bus, the load is fed. That is known as radial feeder. For such a radial feeder, there are uh, the discrimination we have used is finally decided is uh, time current discrimination. That is, we use IDMT relays, which are most useful. And for those IDMT relays, we have seen the rules of setting. But rules of setting we have seen for phase relays. Phase relays means the relays detect for LLL and LL fault. Triple line and double line fault. Ground relays. The construction is same, but the philosophy of setting is different. That we are going to talk today. We have also seen certain limitations of normal inverse overcurrent relays, and therefore we have developed very inverse, extremely inverse, long time inverse, different types of characteristics. And uh, we have also seen that in Certain cases, the fault current is less than the load current. You see, for generator itself, if you uh, short circuit, right? Short circuit means it is not a fault. You are uh, deliberately short circuiting R Y and B terminals at generator and start the generator at full voltage. Then, no doubt, with fault, the reactance is passing through three stages. That is, direct axis subtransient reactance, direct axis transient reactance, and steady state reactance. Direct axis subtransient reactance is 20%. That is, the fault current is five times the rated current. Rated current itself is 10,000 MPR, so 5 times 50,000 is too large. That is true, but that is only for a cycle. For, for, for forthcoming 15, 30 or 50 cycles, depending, depending upon X by R ratio, the generator will be in transient region. Therefore, the relay setting is done usually considering the Subtra I mean direct axis transient reactance, which is 30%. So fault current will be roughly three, three times the irritated current. But you see, if you are talking about backup protection for generator, what do you mean by backup protection? You see, backup protection is for faults on lines. On transmission line, there are two kinds of relays because Immediately after the generator, the line will be 220 kV, 400 kV or 765 kV. Therefore, there will be distance relays. So distance relays will act. If they fail, backup overcurrent and earth fault relay of line is there. If they fail, then transmitter, uh, transformer secondary overcurrent and earth fault will act. So the generator comes in fourth line of defense. and. In all these relays, obviously, uh, the criteria is time. That means distance relay operate first. Then backup overcurrent and earth fault means time delay. Then transformer secondary means time delay. So by the time you come to generator, generator has, has, has entered in steady state region. And steady state reactance of large generator is of the order of 225%. So 
default current is half the rated current. So in such a case, if it is a small generator, you can use voltage controlled overcurrent relays. Simple overcurrent relays cannot be used or overcurrent relay monitored by under voltage relay. These things we have seen in last sessions. So today we are going to see the ground relay. How ground relays are set? That is for LG and LLG fault. LLG fault is as such hybrid fault because LL is line fault. But LLG is ground fault. And because ground fault is more sensitive, I mean ground relay is more sensitive, the uh, ground relay will operate first in LLG faults. So we, we consider LLG and LG. And uh, the fault current LG is usually considered for all calculations. That is R2G, Y2G or B2G. That is what we consider for uh, relays. So we have to see the rules for setting of IDMT ground relays. So you see, first rule in phase relays was the uh, relay should be set beyond the rated current of the equipment or line. But for ground relay, that is not true. So that I will show to you by figure. We had drawn up till now single line diagram. Now this is three line diagram RYB bus and transmission line is going. 52 is circuit breaker and I've got 51R, 51Y, 51B. That is normal inverse IDMT over current relays for line for which we have decided the rules. 64 is the ground relay and we have to decide the rule for that. Say for example, our CTs are 100 bar 1 and transmission line is taking 90 ampere of current. So 100 is 1, so 90 will be 0 0.9. And if you see at the at the threshold, I mean at the at the node point, not point this, current is equal to IR plus IY plus IB will pass through 6. 64, but IR plus IY plus IB vectorial sum and currents are always generally balanced. Balanced means I have, I have once defined, I'll once again define what is the meaning of balance. IR, IY and IB are same in magnitude. The angle between IR, IY and IB is 120 degree and phase sequences are by B. So, the sum total of IR plus IY plus IB that is 0.9 plus 0.9 plus 0.9 is not 2.7, but it is zero. So through 64, zero current is passing when transmission line is taking normal current. Therefore, the rule for setting the plug setting is not the rated current of line. That one has to remember. Not only that, but the relay will not operate for triple line fault. Say this is 100 bar 1 CT and the current is 90 ampere, but due to fault 900 ampere passes. So 100 is 1, so 900 is 9. So 9 plus 9 plus 9 is also 0 because it is a symmetrical fault. So relay will not operate. 64 will not operate and must not operate because the relay should let you know which kind of fault has occurred. Right? So that is very important for the relaying system. Not only that it has to show the which kind of fault occurs, if possible, it should show the distance to fault, whether the fault has occurred 45 kilometer away or 70 kilometer away. That the earlier electromechanical relay or static relay were, were not showing. Numerical relays are showing the distance to fault. And therefore, that makes the availability of uh, power more because you see if the fault has occurred 80 kilometer away and you do not know that it is 80 kilometer away, then you will patrol the line. Usually transmission lines are parallel to highways. So you will travel on highway by jeep, but you will have to run the jeep at some 15 kilometers per hour because you have to see the fault. So at 15 kilometers per hour, for 80 kilometers, you will reach after five hours and you will rectify the fault if it is a sustained fault. 
after five hours. Whereas here, this numerical layer says you that it is 80 kilometer away. You drive your Jeep at 80 kilometer hour, reach the spot within an hour and rectify the fault. You are saving four hours. And four hours, if you take 210 megawatt, say 200 megawatt, 200,000 kilowatt. So that is 200,000 units for one hour. And if you are saving four hours, then you are saving 800 units. And if you take six rupees per unit, then uh, 800 into six, eight, uh, uh, sorry, 800,000, eight lakh unit into six. That means 24 lakhs you are saving. And you are giving power to the people early. So comfort to the people is fast. And when you are feeding power to industry, industry also will produce more. Because if no power is available, they will not be able to produce. So numerical relays are used now. The, the era of electromagnetic and static relays have gone. And these relays are used. These relays are five to six times costlier than the other relays, the traditional relays. But it pays back within a year or two. Right? Because you are getting, that means the electricity company is getting more revenue. That is that is very important. So now then the problem is how will you decide the plug setting of this 64? Plug setting of 64 is decided based on mismatch of three CDs. I told that 9000 means 9. That is not exactly true because all the three CDs may not, I mean the excitation characteristic may not be meeting. It may be like this. So for rated current, there is no problem because for rated current, you are in the linear region. But when fault occurs, you are in the saturation region and EMF induced are different. Therefore, they pass the different currents, right? And because they pass, pass the different currents, the uh, spill current will pass through 64. Your plug setting should be higher than that spill current. That is the thing. And because you have not to set for rated current, the setting range is different. Setting range we were telling 50 to 200 percent. 50 to 200 percent in traditional relays. In uh, numerical relays, it is 10 to 500 percent in steps of 1 percent. In traditional relays, 50 to 200 percent in seven equal steps, 50, 75, 100, 125 and so on. Whereas here it is 10 to 500 in steps of 1 person, 10, 11, 12, 13. If I start speaking, it will be tomorrow. I mean, it will take seven hours to speak, right? Similarly, 64 also is set, uh, not even 5 percent, is set from 1 to uh, 20 percent or 1 to 10% or something like that. So it is set more sensitive. Its setting range is different. Construction is same, but the setting range is different. That is that is the one important difference in earth fault relays. The second difference, if you say, uh, Before I talk about the second difference, I'll talk about the different methods of connecting the ground relays. One method is this that you see. One method is uh, you connect the ground relay in residual circuit or three line series. But the second method is this. If you have available tra transformers are available usually in system. And if the star point is available, because it is delta Y transformer, so star point is also available. You connect a neutral CT and you connect 64 across neutral. You see, you can very easily understand that the current will pass through neutral only when there is ground fault. So it will not operate for double line or triple line fault. It will operate for line to ground or double line to ground fault. And here you can take, I mean, you can make the relay more sensitive. Because here mismatch of three line cities is not a problem because there is only one city. So you can make this relay more sensitive. Similarly, you can make the relay more sensitive in this connection also. 
You see, we use CBCT. CBCT means in earlier case, CTs were encircling only one phase, whereas this four balance CT is encircling all three phases. And when will the flux pass through all CTs? When there is IR plus IY plus IB. There is some value of IR plus IY plus IB. IR plus IY plus IB is zero under normal condition. IR plus IY plus IB is zero under triple line fault if we consider. Uh, I mean, it's not a question of consideration because there are no three cities. So IR plus IY plus IB for the triple line fault. However, IR, IY, IB are 10 times the rate at current. But sum total is yet zero. So flux will not pass through the core of the CBCT. Flux will not pass for double line fault also because RY fault occurs means current goes from R and returns from Y. B we take zero because post fault current we usually take zero while fault analysis. So current goes from R and returns from Y. So once again, the net current is zero. Net current is not zero only when ground fault occurs. And then only the flux will pass through. And that, that flux will cut the binding on uh, the CBCT. That will induce EMF. And when 64 is connected, that is the earth fault relay is connected, the current will pass through. You can make this relay also more sensitive. But the limitation is CBCT you can use for cables only. Cables are available up to 132 kV, no doubt. 6.6 kV, 11 kV, 66 kV, and even 132 kV cables are there. So uh, when you are using cables, because the distance between R and Y is hardly 1 or 2 or 3 centimeters. So between R and B, it would be at the most three or four or five centimeter. So at a CBCT of diameter five or six centimeter is technically feasible. But overhead line for 66 kV itself, the distance is 1.5 meter between R and Y. Y and B another 1.5 meter. So you have to have a CT of a diameter more than three meter, which is technically not feasible. It's not a question of economy, technically not feasible because there will be very high leakage flux and relay will not get enough use to operate. Therefore, such a CT can be used with cables only. That is that one has to remember. But these three connections are there, right? So, I mean, after talking about this, we talk about the second point of rules of setting of IDM tin relays. You see, what is the value of ILG? If it is immediately after generator, then so often LG fault current is more than triple line current. I am not talking about that. I am talking about a fault current on some uh, 220 kV line, some 300 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 100 kilometers away. Then the value of uh, the formula for ILG is E, that is induced DMF upon Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0 plus 3ZN, if at all you have connected deliberate impedance in the neutral circuit, plus 3ZF. You see, ZF is there in double line fold also, flash over, but that is hardly 2 or 4 ohms, therefore we ignored it. For triple line fold, there is no ZF because it is uh, the earthing switch is uh, made on by mistake and you are making the circuit breaker on. So for triple line fault, usually ZF is not there. But for single line to ground fault, ZF is very high because it is flashed over across line insulator plus the resistance of iron tower. Iron is not very good conductor of electricity. So that resistance is very high plus soil resistivity and soil resistivity is different from area to area. If you think of Ahmedabad, if you think of Delhi, then soil resistivity is low. But if you think of Himalayas or if you think of some uh, hilly area, then the soil resistivity is high. ZF 
can be as high as 50 ohms. And that is multiplied by three times. If you, if you take, because you see 400 kV lines are solidly grounded, so if you take Zn is equal to 0, then also Z1 equal to Z2 and Z0 for long lines. Long lines, long EHV lines is about four times Z1. So Z1, Z2, Z0 will be six times Z1 plus three ZF. So fault current, earth fault current is so often less than rated current. And therefore also you have to make the relay more sensitive. That is a very important requirement of relay. Construction is same. Sensitive sensitivity is different, right? So this is all what I said uh, in the earlier versions, electromagnetic versions, three sensitivities were available, 5 to 20 percent in seven equal steps. That is 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, 15, 17.5 and 20. Similarly, 10 to 40 percent and 20 to 80 percent. These three uh, ranges were available. But in numerical relays, now they give 1% to 20% or 1% to 40%. So, and that also in steps of 1%. So, there is no problem if you are using a numerical relay. And we are using now numerical relays. And uh, we will have to understand the numerical relays. These are all concepts. Concepts are important. How to set the relays that is required in numerical relays also. So concepts are not new. Concepts will never go. You see, uh, the Fleming's light, right hand rule will never go. Bulb lights, as as uh, other invented by uh, that uh, kya, that scientist, very very known scientist, uh, at. Edward Palana, I, I forgot the name. Huh? The, the the telephones work as what uh, decided by uh, some scientists, right? And uh, so all all scientists, uh, Archimedes principle, the the way in which the uh, steamers flow in uh, in sea is based on the uh, law of Archimedes. Archimedes was is somewhere in, I don't know, 700 and something or 600 and something or 900 and something. Uh, this is 2022. Uh, so, certain principles are, certain principles are uh, permanent. This one, in the Sanatan Kete, they are permanent. They cannot change. But the methodology changes. The step change, the facilities change, therefore availability of power system change. The discrimination margin which we were using, which we are using 0.25 second, you can use uh, uh, only 40 milliseconds. So that way numerical relay has changed the scenario of protection. That one should remember. So uh, this is the second thing, earth fault current may be so fun if it is not just after the generator, if it is very far from the generator, the earth fault current is less than the rated current. Therefore, it has to be made sensitive. Third point is very important. Delta Y transformers are always there. And I, I think I told once that in power system, we are using Delta Y transformer to suppress triplet harmonics, third harmonic, right? So that third harmonic does not go to generator because generator cannot withstand third harmonic. Iron losses will be very high and generator will be damaged. Transformer also will be damaged. So we are using delta Y transformers in the system. But when we use delta Y transformer, my friends, uh, I, will, I will tell you, that uh, what happens is this. Delta Y transformer is that. Fault occurs in the secondary star side. So in B phase, post fault currents are there. Uh, Pre-fault currents we ignore. 
So I R is zero, I Y is zero. I B is I, I F. And that current is reflected in primary I F. There is a typographical error. It should be I capital F. Because current will be different. Transformation will be there. So that is I capital F, right? So that I capital F current flows through the, uh, uh, through the B phase, right? Y phase zero, R phase in the winding zero. But when you come to lines, if you apply the Kirchhoff's law at this point, at this point, IF is coming from here and that IF goes here. That means the ground fault on secondary side becomes line to line fault on primary side. Line to line fault cannot be sensed by ground relay. Therefore, if there is a transformer between two successive relays, say R1 and R2, then R1 cannot give backup to R2. No backup is available. That is the big disadvantage of ground relaying. What you can do is in this neutral circuit, you can have a CT and a relay. So, and here there will be three line CTs and one relay in the residual circuit in three line series. So, this neutral relay will give backup. But on this side, delta side, relay, I mean ground relay cannot give backup. That is, if you say that is a disadvantage also. If it is not so, if there is no transformer, then this rule, that is PS of ground relay R2, should be greater than 1.3 divided by 1.05. That is true. But if transformer exists, then R2 and R3 are independent. Their plug settings are independent. You can give any plug setting. R2 is 10% and R3 is 20%. That is also possible. And the time setting, R3 operates in 0.3 seconds and R2 operates in 0.1 second or even if, if required instantaneously. That 0.25 second of margin, discrimination margin is not required if there is a transformer existing between two successive relays. So these, these philosophies are different. Fourth, very, very important thing is this, that when you say that the ground fault has occurred, right? Say, say I, I, I take this figure, ground fault has occurred. And now there is CT on B phase. There is, there is 100 bar 1 CT. And I have set the relay 10%. 10% of 1 ampere means 0.1 ampere. On primary side, it is 10% of 100 ampere means 10 ampere. So you feel that if 10 ampere passes through the fault, my relay will sense the fault. Little more than 10 ampere and it will sense the fault. That is wrong. That is wrong because the excitation current has to be fed. It is not so that excitation current was not required to be fed in phase relays also. You see, 100 bar 1, we were talking directly in terms of primary. 100% means either 1 ampere or 100 ampere. Primary terms, 100 ampere. Secondary terms, 1 ampere. That we were taking. But 100 was not 1 because 0 0.05 ampere was taken by excitation circuit. So through relay only 0 0.95 was flowing. So when you say that the relay operates at 1 ampere, you were wrong by 0 0.05. That is percentage wise you were wrong by 5% whereas here the things are quite different in b phase the fault occurs 10 ampere now each ct say requires 0.05 ampere if ct requires 0.03 ampere then it is good but if it requires 0.9 and usually protective ct magnetizing current is high they are not required to be accurate Accuracy depends on magnetizing current that we will talk about when we talk about CT and PT. But 0.05 ampere is flowing. So 10 is 0.1, but from 0.1, 0.05 is going in one CT. 
DCT. Not only that, Y phase CT and R phase CT are also, also required to be fed. So three times the magnetizing current is required to be fed. Right? Three times the magnetizing current is required to be fed. And if you see so, I, I take this table, right? Uh, this uh, Q is PS of ground relay. I have set the ground relay at 5% say. 5% means for 1 ampere CT secondary is 0.05 ampere. And the excitation current requirement is 0.05 per CT. So for 3 CT is 0.15. So 0.05 for relay operation and 0.15 for excitation current, I come to 0.2. 0.2, if I consider 100 bar 1 CT, if I assume 100 bar 1 CT, 0.2 is 20 ampere. So, my sensitivity is 20 ampere and 20 ampere of 100 is 20 percent. So, I have set the relay sensitivity 5 percent, but I am getting 20 percent. And if I find the error, 20 minus 5 upon 5 into 100. So 20 minus 5 is 15, 15 upon 5. So 3 into 100. So 300 percent error is occurring. In phase relays, 5 percent error was occurring. Here, three, you cannot allow 300 percent error. So the setting calculation has to be done in a different way, in a different style. That we will see in the, in the next session. We will take examples. In, in, in those examples, we will take how to calculate the relay setting for the ground relay. So 5% sensitivity really gives me 20% sensitivity. Similarly, if you take 10% sensitivity, it gives me 25%. And if you take 80% sensitivity, it gives me 95%. So, so to say 80% is better because you see difference is nominal, 80 and 95. Difference is nominal. So, if you want to select the sensitivity of a relay to make the relay or to keep the relay too sensitive, 5% or 10%, does not serve that good purpose. You have, to, you have to remember that. So, use 5% only if it is really required. Otherwise, sensitivity of ground relay has not as much meaning as it is seen, because 5% is not 5%, 5% is 20% in, in terms of primary. So this has to be remembered. This is fourth important consideration in, in, in ground relay, right? And percentage error, how I have calculated that I have shown to you. No doubt, this is for three line cities. So you consider the magnetizing current three times. If you connect the CT in uh, across CB CT or in the neutral CT, there is only one CT. So that multiplier 3 will go and therefore the error will not be this bad and you will be able to uh, make the relay little more sensitive. If you are using those connections, those connections means to remind you again, if you are using, uh, if you are using uh, if you are using this connection or this connection, you can make the relay more sensitive, uh, friends. So uh, this is these are the uh, points while you consider the uh, ground relay and the settings of ground relay. Right. So. With that, I think uh, I end the talk of today. Uh, I've been writing in LinkedIn. I've been writing in Facebook. That I think there must be at least 8 million electrical engineers in the world, including students and industries, industrialists. Maybe industrialist who is having 20 years of experience and working in power system protection field, maybe knowing many of these things. 
but some 5% on 10% things he may not be knowing because uh, the engineer who is 20 years of experience, 30 years of experience, I am getting a question from him. He is stuck somewhere in his field problem and field problems have to be solved very fast because the bosses are sitting, electricity is not there, so they are not getting the revenue. If some industry is there, some big industry like LNT or GSFC is earning some 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs or 1 crore rupees in an hour. So they are losing a big revenue. So uh, then they remember me and they write to me a WhatsApp message that, sir, please uh, uh, suggest some solution of this problem. So uh, Experienced engineers also will get 5 to 10 percent of knowledge. And uh, the fresh engineers will get 100 percent knowledge. And this knowledge is nowhere available in the book. Uh, my friends, I have read some 20 foreign books. Out of those foreign books, one book is Power System Protection edited by CGB, Central Electricity Generating Board. So it is not a book. Many authors have written the book. Many authors, some author is given chapter one, another author is given chapter two, and that has been edited by some mastermind person. So in such a book also, these things are, are, are not there. In such a book also, uh, these things are, are not there. Uh, I have seen that. And in Indian books, obviously not there. In India, my book is uh, wiped off. It has been thrown. I mean, it has been decided to withdraw my book by a very well-known international publisher because students were not understanding and faculty were also not understanding. So these points are tough. But unfortunately, these points are required in field. Otherwise, you will be failure in field, you will be kicked out and no one will purchase you. No one will give you a job. So this is very important. And for these very important things, you have to read through. I'm getting many likes. My uh, views have reached uh, some 30,000 or 40,000 views. But view hours are just thousand. I think my view hours should be at least one million. First milestone in YouTube is four thousand view hours. That also I have not reached. So I I request my learned audience to read through the video. And when they share, they should tell their friends that they should also read through then only my viewers will increase. Otherwise, viewers will not increase. Viewers has some uh, consideration in YouTube, right? So, uh, and the name of Adapt Me will go further only if the uh, viewers are there. So, I, I again and again request you to please read through the video. It is only half an hour. I don't make big videos. You read, you hear one video today, second video tomorrow. 50 videos are already uploaded and 80 videos will be uploaded totally for power system protection. Then I will start another subject. But 80 videos also, if people hear half an hour, then it becomes 40 viewers for one person and for 1 million engineers. You can imagine how many viewers will be there. Right? So, uh, my friends, don't forget that and uh, please read, please go through the video fully for half an hour. Till then, my friends, thank you so much and good day.